to fear the world. It has gone mad. Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon 2. We are jumping into our next run. Of course the last one ended in unfortunate death, but the cycle must continue again and we push forward. I actually did make a mistake in the last update, uh, the last video, sorry, I mentioned the update had come. It actually hasn't, it's an experimental at the minute, so we're still waiting on that to get a full release. But we have since installed two mods. One of them is going to give us an extra mastery point at the start of our journey, which should help a lot. And another one is going to make no road battles slightly longer to give us a little bit more of a fighting chance of actually completing them. Both of these are sort of experimental mods for me. I don't know if I'm going to like them or not. I just thought we'd try them out since they were having such a hard time. They were suggested to me by people within my Discord, so I thought, why not give it a go? But anyways, we are going to jump in. I think first of all, though, before we jump into the run, we'll sh go through the last testaments of a few of these people here. This first one is by Raystar and Soul Galaxy Wolf. They wrote this together. And this is for our Mana Arms. These are the last testaments, the deaths of these characters. My muscles ache and my skin burns. The constant fighting with little rest is wearing me down. Even the damned tree branches hit me every second I sit on this forsaken carriage. By the hour, I feel the weight of what filth are left behind. It is now clear to me that she made up for Dismas's lack of ability. How I would, how I wonder what cushy life he must must have lived before to treat me with so much disrespect. At least Courtney and Jane seem to appreciate my efforts. Their growing bond gives me much comfort. If we were to not to repeat our terrible loss, it is important for the whole group to contribute. I believe the fighting has put me out too much. I came close to death so many times. Even Courtney looked to me with worry. I tell her that I'm fine, but it was too much in the end. I wake up with an all too familiar feeling in my chest. I don't re I remember losing another comrade, but time is a luxury I do not have. Very, very nice. Then we have the death of Jane Durr. This is the uh, grave robber that we had that joined us along the way. This is one written by me. She started as an excited young adventurer looking to lend a helping hand and a fighting spirit to those in need. But little did she know that joining this cursed group of travellers would be the last mistake she'd ever make. The group took her in immediately, especially Dismas welcoming her with uh, to fill an empty seat on the carriage with open arms. But it was only once the battles um, started that the rest of them saw the fire light from within her eyes. She swung the pickaxe alongside Courtney to protect her as if she'd known these people all her life. It was admirable to the extent that she went for her fellow man. But just as darkness tends to do, it took hold, creeping and destroying any semblance of hope left. She tried to fight it, but waging a war on an invisible foe is no easy task. As the group carried on down that winding road, the darkness grew, and with darkness comes the occult. That last encounter tested Jane for all she was worth, but this did little to fight off the tormenting souls of the damned as they struck and slashed over and over. As the group fell one by one, she couldn't help but feel a part of this small family, even in the short time she had been a part of it. She felt as if she had become part of something bigger than herself, something that transcended this lifetime. And so as her last friend fell, she welcomed death with open arms, ready for what lies beyond. So that was there uh, because for one, she was the last one standing, as our grave robber tends to be for some reason. But also because although this character isn't part of our main group, she is now part of the cycle. She has become, just by helping the group, she has become part of the cycle and she may reoccur. And then the last one we have here is for um, Dismas here. This is by Strafe. Dismas felt the familiar near nothingness wrap around him like a coat. He wasn't sure why it was familiar, but as it smothered his life down to a flicker, the familiar pressure swelled. He saw a dozen memories spin around him. As they swam before his eyes, one memory caught his eye. It was him, floating in the near nothingness, watching memories swim around him. Dismas stood there, watching this other him, or rather, a former sel self from another time. While watching the memories, he noticed some something in them that he hadn't seen the first time. There were others here, off in the distance. For some reason, Dismas felt that he needed to reach out to the others. He tried to move his body, but he couldn't feel his legs. He tried harder to no success, and as he str struggled to move, he felt a hand on his back. It pushed him forward, and uh, he floated through the near nothingness. 
The other person turned to him and he was met with Josiah's face. His hand reached out towards Josiah. He was so close to reaching him. And then the darkness disappeared, leaving Dismas with his dagger in hand, thrust into a training dummy's shoulder. He pulled the knife out, taking a small piece of yellow cloth with it. Just incredible. I'm, I've just been absolutely loving the writing that people have been putting forward here. And to be honest, I've been really enjoying writing myself. I One thing I really like about this series, even if it isn't the highest viewership series on my channel, it just gives me such a creative outlet. I'm not, I'm not generally a very creative person. Um, I haven't actually thought of who we're going to bring, by the way. So we have, we're unfortunately, while I do like Courtney, we literally have to bring Courtney. Um... This time, maybe we'll go... Let's go like this. Into the um, the mind. And we'll, uh, we'll, of course, leave you here. We'll uh, change the names in just a second. But I was just going to say, yeah, I'm not a very creative person. I'm not a very good writer. But I've been really enjoying the creative outlet of this series and trying to get better at some creative writing. I've been really enjoying it. Okay, we have everyone named and we are ready. Let's quickly check what we got. Amateur Weaponsmith is always nice, although uh, Head in the Sand, 50% chance to be blinded when hit is slightly annoying. Resilient here is pretty good. Uh, Thin Blood doesn't matter too much. Claw is decent. Um, provisionally accepts the existence of others. Okay, <laughs> he's a curmudgeon. That's fine, that's fine. Um, ooh, okay, that's actually that's actually pretty decent. Um, and that's that's slightly annoying. But anyways, we're going to go forward and we're going to hope this one goes a little better. I've been talking to people in the Discord about our current um, sort of standing within the world, within Darkest Dungeon, how we've been doing. Apparently, I've just been getting exceedingly unlucky. Apparently, I have just been playing fine for the most part, apart from a few basic mistakes. But I've just kind of been getting shafted by the game. I've been getting really unlucky and... Uh, Unfortunately, just taking a lot of damage that I shouldn't be taking, so that's unfortunate. With purpose. Um, we start off with... Unfor this is this is one thing that I really wish the tweak. The Academic's Cash can give you all sorts of stuff, but as you just saw, you need this more than anyone. And do you know what? You can take the damage as well, actually. Your damage is a little low. She is getting a buff, but that's still in the experimental build. But yeah, um, one thing that is very annoying... Like, we just got eight milk-soaked linen. Like, I'm sorry, but it's just not very good for us. Um, who was it who got the blind? So we definitely want you to have that. And then why not you have it as well? Yeah, it would have been nice to get, like, a variety of combat items rather than just the same one. Like, but oh well, it's fine. faculty mixers became something of a delight. Knowing we'd abscond to a quiet table... Let's just keep pushing forward. By the way, as well, for those of you that are keeping up with the series, for one, thank you very much. Please make sure to like and comment on the series because it really does help out a lot with this series. But also, I just wanted to say there'll probably be a break from the series next week, the week of Christmas, just because I'll be away from home. It's going to be harder for me to uh, create content with the way this series works. Almost every other series should be continuing as normal, as well as actually an additional series too. Uh, I'm going to be uploading something a little extra playing through uh, the first Half-Life game, Half-Life 1 with Never Named. Very, very fun. Really enjoyed it. So I hope you guys uh, are ready for that. But anyways, back to Darkest Dungeon. Let's go. Welcome Courtney, Jane, here. Dismas Welcome and Felfer moving forward. With open and arms. hoping that when we arrive at the first um, at the first in here that we do actually get two mastery points. I, don't, I haven't tested the mods yet, I'll be honest. Okay. Right. Let's just go for a slash here. I still, I still am in awe at the beauty of the animations in this game. Hopefully we don't take on too much stress here. Um, we should also change up our skills after this battle. I forgot to do that. Uh, there is a few mistakes I've been making in terms of skill, like the skills I've been picking. Um, mainly with uh, Jane here. Apparently I should be taking poison dart a lot more often than the other skills that I've been taking, so I'll uh, I'll make sure to do that in the future, so thank you for uh, pointing that out to me. But yeah, I, I gotta say, yeah, um, still really enjoying this series. Ooh, we didn't unfortunately take one stress, but that should be all we take. There you go. Yeah, there you go, look, plus two mastery points. Okay, right, so first things first, let's just quickly grab, I think... I think we'll Rest grab Dismas and, and give you the speed. I think that's going to be quite nice. Um, but then, what was it I wanted to do? Okay, so I wanted to switch some skills around here. So, point blank shot isn't the best for us. 
But I do believe it's going to be a little more useful than tracking shot. Yeah. Um, I need to use take aim a little more as well, just because that can uh, give myself that crit, which is going to give us some more stress heals and stuff. Uh, with, with her, we want to be taking off the flashing daggers and putting on the dead of night. Um, with you, we want to take off incision and put on vapors. And with you, we haven't unlocked anything else yet, so that's fine. Okay, let's keep pushing forward. So yeah, I think Dismas playing into the um, playing into the the role of sort of using his um, duelist advance and um, locking him with some extra damage is going to be really really nice. And then using point blank shot again because I believe point blank shot pushes us back one, right? Yeah. So we'll, we'll be able to do a, a small dance, so to say. So basically, the reason behind the mod that adds that gives you the plus two mastery tokens to start is because. Unfortunately, just due to the balance of the game currently and how stress is dealt with, uh, you you kind of get forced for to um to take thingy um what's it called what as this one. You, you get Had forced you to take just a little taller at the end. This here, anti prevention. Um, you, you get forced to level it up because it gives a stress heal, and it's just too valuable. So we get that one basically for free, which is really nice. And then we can go for another one as well. Now, there's quite a lot we could we could do here. Uh, there's quite a lot of different um, upgrades we could go for. We probably want one that's got a uh, decent damage output. So, like, this one here is not very valuable to us uh, because it's only going to change the damage values, although the damage values are pretty high. Um, something like the Duelist Advance giving us extra... Um, Repost is going to be really good. We could go with something like this to get, like, a, a bit of a crit chance boost and a damage boost. Um, we could go with one of these here. I think these work pretty well, uh, especially when we combine it with the, the sort of combo stuff that she's got going on. Uh, but I, I think, I think I'm going to take the Duelist Advance here. I think Dismas is one of my favorite characters to just play around as, and I think that the gives us a lot to work with. Away. Grab that. Plan accordingly. We'll check our provisions here. We don't really have much, um, in the... Oh, actually, we can definitely, uh, take... Definitely take that. Do you know what? I'll take that as well. And then we'll just go back to our group here real quick. And dodge token. Let's give Jane the dodge tokens. I think that'll help a lot. Um, and then increase speed. I think Courtney, you can take the increased speed. And then we can select our Everywhere. route here. In we can either take the Greater Wolf's Blood Everywhere. or the Storage Trunk. In Win at least three resistance in counter battles or fight at no more than one. Okay, I'm going to take the Blood Moon here. Trenches and tents. Um, that was minus 20 bleed resist, but that's fought. fine. I think we should be okay. Let's leave the inn and push forward. Let's hope this goes a little better into the tangle than previous cycles have gone. I don't even know if this is an area that we've been to within this series. I think we have once, maybe. Resignation. Let's check out our map for a minute here. Let's just wait until it's uh, done its thing. We do indeed have a hero shrine that I very much want to use, so we'll make our way over towards that. And we want to take at least three resistance encounters, right? So we'll take that one. And then we can go there, there, there. This is a bit... Hmm... Right, this route's a little a little fishy. We'll we'll work it out as we go. We definitely want to go left first. Especially considering these two actually want to go this way. That definitely helps. Good, good. I can't bear to look out the window. It's a pretty horrible sight. You can have the bunk next to mine. Ooh, Felther and Dismas already getting kind of close. Of course, Felther has been someone that we've they maybe not really got chance to use properly, utilize within the last few the runs, end. but there's blood to be spilled. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but hopefully, hopefully today she shall prove herself worthy. Um, Can someone tell me what just happened? I've... Never had this happen before. I, I've legit never had that happen before. Where it immediately pushes someone to the front. Did not know that could happen. Um, interesting. I don't know why you got crit, but... I'm gonna Iron Swan this guy. Not a terribly high amount of damage. These dudes do have... Um... Oh, there you go. 
Combat start shuffle. Okay, I just haven't experienced that prior. Good to know it exists, I guess. These guys do have a little bit of blight resist, but not actually that much. So I'm going to try and apply some blight here. Flashing blade comes in. It's going to hit for a bit, but we do activate combo there. There you go. Blight is getting higher. Do you know what? That's a lot of blight on you now. And that was for you. Thank you. Courtney and Dismas getting along just fine. Um, Yeah, let's advance into you again. And then we've got point blank shot ready. And we get a dodge as well, which is pretty powerful. And we'll bleed you as well. Why not? <laughs> this thing's dead. This thing's so dead. We're taking quite a bit of damage here, but stress is actually doing okay, which is nice. Focus fire. Unfortunately, that is going to taunt. But she can handle it, I think. And I know that she, she ended up taking quite a lot of the hits here, but we should be okay. And that death doors you at least. And I think we can probably leave you to die via blight and things. Although probably not a great idea to leave you. Um, yeah, let's just point blank shot you. Unfortunately, you survived that. Wow. Okay. We'll start throwing these poison darts out around everyone. Yeah, I've never really sort of focused on using Poison Dart, but it's actually a very valuable skill for us. Okay. Please die. There you go. You're out of the way. We can start healing up now as well. Stress is, stress is piling up a little bit, but not enough to be, to be too worried. It's only a small amount. Dismas is actually looking completely fine right now as well, which is good. We don't want to heal yet. Um, let's just blinding gas. We've got a good opportunity to blind both of these guys, and it, it worked just fine for us there. And we start stacking the blight on you. You did resist, unfortunately, but we can Iron Swan you now. I am surprised that Iron Swan does so little damage. It used to be such a powerful move, and now it does four damage as base. It shouldn't even be able to do four. It should be like six minimum. We'll get our repost set up again. As long as this guy doesn't try and revive this dude, I'll be happy. He can do that, so I'm, I'm trying to take him out as quickly as I can, but not always plausible. Let's take aim. I don't know if that means his repost will crit, by the way. I, I really don't know. I'm just hoping this guy doesn't get a chance to revive. This should finish him off. If it bleeds, we'll get some bleed on you as well. This turn of combat has done very well for us. Marching orders is going to buff him, but there you go. The death blow comes in. And that body perishing is very important for us, because now we can point blank shot on a crit and get some huge damage. Beautiful. Okay, that, that went significantly better. Oh, we also got the um, a legendary uh, trinket there. Okay. Let's uh, let's equip that to probably. Do you, do you know what? I'm gonna give that to Felther because Felther's been having a hard time recently. Um, let's remove that off of you. Give that to Dismas instead. Yeah, she's been having a hard time, so I feel like this fits in. And then we can give you that as well. And first battle went decently. It went decently. Let's carry on down. Felfa does look a little worse for wear, but then again, she's up at the front. She's always going to be a, a little like that. we just got to hope she can fight through the pain. Where's that map? There we go. Oh, we got a hero shrine right off the bat. This is going to be really good because Felfa desperately needs some new skills. Uh, we, we do have a road battle here first. Let's see if our other mod has worked, though. We should have um, seven rounds to complete. We indeed do. Um, so this basically, I, I, I at least thought that on five rounds, it was almost impossible to kill a team of five. Now, it's not always going to be guaranteed, but it gives us a much better chance, which I think is huge for us. Let's just strike you. We're just going to try and take this guy out and then point blank shot on the next round to kill him. 
It does mean our road battles will last longer, and obviously the point of the limit is to make sure they don't last too long. Um, so that is a little bit of a downside, but at the same time, I'm kind of okay with it. Um, let's blind and gas on you two, I think. I know that doesn't actually deal damage, but it does prevent this guy from doing huge damage. Sometimes, not always. Did unfortunately get knocked back out. He's been crit three times in a row. <laughs> Stop critting him. <laughs> that was unfortunate, but that's how it is sometimes. Right, we'll try and finish you off very quickly. Felfer should be able to finish the job. Oh, or Dismas, actually. Okay. There you go. So this battle went exceedingly well. Like, we, we're, we're at round two or seven already. But this is just giving us a little bit of a boost in the start. It, it, might, it might be that it's a little too strong. We've, like, over-tuned a little bit. But we'll we'll just sort of play it play it by ear and see how it goes. Can you like leave this? You crit him the again. Begins. What the fuck's going on right now? <laughs> oh, unfortunate relationship break there. Like, what on earth happened to Dismas this time? He got crit so many times just then. That was kind of absurd. And there you go. So we managed to finish this one in three rounds. We would be able to finish that one anyways, but... It's more for the later battles. Ooh, we get extra flame here. That's nice. Um, let's let's tag that on to... I don't know who's not got a... Combat item right now. Okay, Felthy, you don't have a combat item. You can have that. Can boost our light a little bit here. We're, we're at 82, so we're fine for now, but... That could soon change. But yeah, that was... Dismas got kind of bullied there, didn't he? <laughs> But that is bound to happen from time to time. Right, let's go into our first hero shrine as um, as Felta here. She desperately needs this because her skills are uh, definitely leaving much to be desired. And apparently a few of her skills are very, very strong too. Hellion. Chapter 1. The Eve of Glory. The Eve of Glory. Right, if it's an actual like battle I have to do, I have to take it seriously. Because the last ones I really didn't understand. Too young to join the war band, but any who challenged her readiness were met with clenched fists and violent indignation. Having bloodied the last of her detractors, the matter was considered finally settled. On the eve of battle, she joined her clanmates in a raucous celebration, her stein and her spirits overflowing with abundance. Oh, damn. Okay, and we'll see what skill we gain here. Bleed out, okay. I have heard Bleed Out is very, very, very good. <laughs> so we definitely want to be swapping that out. Um, I don't know what for right now. Um, but yeah, I've, I've heard Bleed Out is something we definitely want to be using like a lot. I'm going to take off Barbaric Yarp for now because I just never find myself using it. Um, I actually think that the hospital is a decent a idea. Choice. At least yeah, I'm going to say, to be fair, most people want to go hospital anyway, so I feel like... Just to reduce stress a little bit. I'm sorry, Jane, but everyone else is in agreement here that the hospital would be the better way to go. Um, okay, we're probably going to be fighting a good few road battles here, but that's just how it is sometimes. Keep pushing forward. Field hospital. I think, Dismas, you need, like, two heals here, but otherwise we're fine. We'll just check out what you've got for sale. Uh, you never have healing selves. Why? <laughs> never have healing selves. Um, Loudenum's pretty good. I'm going to leave everything, to be honest. Like, there's some good stuff there, but I just don't feel it fits into our current setup. I'd rather keep my uh, the stuff that I've got. Right, so I'm going to basically let my group decide where I go here. Um, because... Procrastination mm. of the inevitable is futility itself. We'll go to the academic study then. Two people want to go there. As long as we can get to that hero shrine, I'll be happy. I can't remember what other skill it is, but apparently Felf has another skill that's just insanely good. So we're, we're kind of trying to get that at the minute. But yeah, bleed out should be pretty good. Appar apparently it's a very strong skill. Okay, so we do have the drum man. This is again a road battle. These are the road battles that normally take the longest. Ones where you're like forced to fight the guy that's got block and stuff like that. 
I'm going to start with an ounce of prevention here. Good, good. Obviously, bleed out can only be used in position one, so that's not going to be as useful. Oh, he resisted that blight. Wow. Focus fire. Oh, unfortunately, we did get a taunt on a character we really could do without one on. Um, lights for 58. Yeah, let's uh, let's just use that. That's pretty good. If it bleeds, I think we go for that. I don't know if we should be focusing fire down these guys, but the uh, the cut that they can do, that attack there, can be really brutal. Penance coming in. He did hurt himself there, so that's good. Yeah, this attack can be strong, so... Maybe we do want to do with them, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure this guy can just revive. If that ends up being the case. But this guy just keeps getting taunted. I, I have to say, I'm really not a very big fan of the taunt guy. Because he never, like, taunts a different enemy. He just keeps taunting the same one over and over again. It just kind of makes it feel a little pointless. Keep our flame up here. Helps out a lot. Okay, that, hopefully this should kill him. A slow okay. dissection. An unavoidable end. Get that on you two as well. Ah, oh, it death doored him, but it didn't kill him. At least it's going to cut down his damage somewhat. We did get debuffed there a little bit. Stress is building. Unfortunately, the blind did not pay off. That's okay. Everyone's got reasonable health right now. Got to remember that uh, Jane here has a very, very good ability to heal herself with her body, so we don't have to worry about that all too much. Okay, Taunt again kind of ruining us here. Make sure you're dead. A righteous action. Let's go with the Vapors on you. Ah. Oh. Felfa, you're just a cruel bitch, aren't you? I'm sorry, but you are. Like, you just constantly don't like people. It's very annoying. Can you can you leave Jane alone too? What is it with Jane? Okay, he does indeed crit on repose. That's incredible to know. Incredible to know. But oh wait. That's not going to do what I think it's going to do, is it? He's only got one taunt. We're going to have to uh, get rid of it. I need to get rid of his body really quickly. For one, I want the heal. But for two, I just don't want this guy to revive him. Anthrovention prevention here is going to do a little bit of stress healing for the group and the up our resistances. Oh, there you go. That guy's taken care of. Good. That's going to save us a lot of trouble. Probably going to take on a little bit more stress here, but we'll see. That was interesting. It showed us that he tried to target Jane here, but couldn't because she was, um... Stealthed. Quite liking the stealth at the minute. Nah, I think we go with the, the wicked slice on this guy, actu actually. I think the vapors are so good in this sort of situation here. Go down, you fiend. One more wicked slice should kill this guy. Ooh, that's a lot of stress coming in there. But now you can see we're on round five here, so this just li literally wouldn't have been possible to win. And we're already kind of struggling. But there you go, you, you die. Impressed. There you go, Felt is actually impressed by something. Oh my god. It's incredible. Ah, we can't do answer prevention right now. We can at least do battlefield medic though. Impeccably timed. But Felther's stress has risen a little bit beyond what we'd like to see. Go straight back with the cut. We did get some block out of that though. Answer prevention. Not exactly the biggest stress uh, stress remover, but. Only upon each other. Wow, that didn't kill you. I thought I would. I death dodge you at least. You're going to get one more hit in, aren't you? Or are you? Yep, you are. <laughs> Luckily, it's going to do very minimal damage. You see? Seven rounds, and we didn't even win it. Seven rounds, and we didn't even win it. That's just... that. that this is why it needs to be longer than five. On five rounds, 
Like, we got very close there, of course. But that would have been literally impossible. Literally impossible on five rounds. Got the academic study. I can never really remember what these are. Literally everyone's just like, get get me the hell out of here. Um, this is vile, inhumane. Yeah, I think I think Jane's got the right idea. The relationship is tested already. Inseparable. Two of the same stone. Beautiful. Never one without the other. That is very very early to gain a positive relationship here. Inseparable should provide us with some some very good benefits. Stumbling and grasping. Shadows of what they once were. Here we've got this big guy, the ghoul. Get rid of that dodge token immediately. <laughs> no thank you. Great job, my friend. Provides with some stress relief. These guys don't have very strong blight resist considering what they are. I thought they'd have a lot more. This guy's just gonna get stacked up with everything we've got. Out of prevention's going out for that little bit of stress removal. The key. Don't dwell on it. Felfa! You cruel bitch! Just like people! God damn it! She's such a horrible bitch! <laughs> I'm sorry, Felfa, but like, I realize you have a cruel exterior, but just chill! <laughs> Not like a minute, just chill. Okay, stress is gonna get slightly out of hand here, but deal with that as it comes, I guess. Ah, oh, really? You resisted that? Unfortunate. Yeah, stress is gonna get out of hand right now. Take my hand. Ooh, that's a big heal. I'm just, gonna point blank I'm just about to say, I'm gonna point blank shot this guy and just see if it kills him. Oh my god, my stress. He's very impressed with Dismas's ability, but... Oh, that's a crit as well. Oh, ho, 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 ho. it stunned him too. Are you fucking kidding me? This is a road battle, and we've just basically... We're, we're going to get a stress check on everyone in our group. I don't even understand what I'm meant to do about this. The work continues. Everyone's got horror. This is just nuts. <laughs> Yep, you're you're gonna um you're gonna get a stress check next turn, aren't you? Do not hit him. Okay, your death's dawned at least, but you're still gonna hit this guy and give him stress, aren't you? I know it for sure. Oh wait, okay. Still a skull toss though. That's another stun and more stress. Ah! He got the stress check! Are you kidding me? It's a 50-50. We don't even have answer prevent. Oh my god. People that say, ooh, it's, stress isn't that hard to deal with this game. Bullshit. <laughs> Heckin' bullshit is what that is. Get rid of that body. Get gone. That was awful. Overcome even the greatest of threats. Loudenham. Ooh, couldn't have come at a fucking later time. God damn it. See, this is what I... Like, did I just get insanely unlucky there? Do you know what, Felther? You're getting more HP. Like, did I get just insanely unlucky in that situation? I feel like I did. Right, get rid of the milk soap cloth. No one cares about that. It's basically useless. Oh my god. So, we're not going to get any positive relationships with Courtney this entire time, most likely. In fact, we might even get a negative one now that he's had a meltdown. She, even. We did get a medical tent here. Courtney, you can take that. I guess i got to start buying Loudenham, because it's just incredibly useful. The odds of illness are high. Best to be prepared. Right. Again, milk soaked rags are just useless. Get the loudenum on you. 
Okay. Keep going. Another road battle. Where's our map anyways? I don't know where, like, where we're going right now. Okay, another one of these guys, which is fantastic for us. So I think we go... Actually, to be fair, let's leave the Laudanum for now, just because I think we're going to need it this fight. Answer prevention should help out a bit. I actually think we take out the backline woman first. I know that seems like a bad idea, but there you go. Inseparable should help with the stress. That is a huge heal. What the hell? Three to five damage. Yeah, might as well just go with that blighter. I just think she can deal more stress than it's worth. Good job, my friend, indeed. More stress heals coming in for us. There goes the howl. Right, so we need to need to louden them fucking everyone. I that's such a dumb move. Like it's like, oh, 50% chance of, of stress. Last time it literally procked every single time it could possibly proc. But you need it most. The pulse slows. Sanity returns. Right, get that on you. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Do that on me. The pulse slows. Sanity returns. Okay. It's going okay. He resisted that time? Heck. Point blank shot. Puts us in air position to get her a post back up again later. Nice. Added a dodge, unfortunately, to him there. Bleed out, unfortunately, only hits the front one there. That's such a shame. Kind of need to pull him forward one, but it's not going to be easy. Right. Do this again, it gives us another dodge. Re-ups our repurst. Good, good. Very glad I bought all that Loudonum, because this would have been a pain otherwise. Right, more blight for you, sir. More blight for you. You should die, yeah. Don't even dare throw a skull toss at me. You little fucker. Stuns every time. Stresses every time. A miscalculation, oh. perhaps. The blight should just kill him, really. Boom. In crisis, no gain is insignificant. Okay, right. I don't even know why the map doesn't automatically reopen, but it definitely should. Um, trinkets wise, someone's without trinket here, so you can have that. There you go. Right, on our way to the hoarder, which unfortunately is pretty much worthless for us. We're just going to get another road battle here. We're, get, we're, we're taking on a lot of road battles this time round. It's going to be a slightly longer episode, but... That is one thing I kind of do wish to change about the, um, the unknown paths. Like... It's not always, but it feels like a pretty much guarantee that you're going to get a road battle. Holding back fits of laughter. Of course, at the minute, we really can't afford anything from this guy. It'd be nice if we could sell stuff, but... Anyways, the hoarder. It was fun to see you, but we literally can't give a shit. Okay, all of these guys want to go battle anyways, but that's pretty much the way I was deciding to go either way. So let's, uh, let's take that route, because all you need that stress heal, really. Thank you. What's Felfa got? Oh, she's just missing a combat item. Okay. We can give you some bandages. Can they stack? No, they cannot. Okay. Stumbling we haven't really been bleeding much, but there is some enemies out here that deal, do deal bleed. Got to make sure to watch for whatever we get here. Fuck me. This is a road battle? Are you kidding? This is going to be so much stress. I don't even know who we go for first here. That's a good crit right there. So, let's just take a little look at if it bleeds. So, if it bleeds, it's going to do a massive bleed. But it is going to give us Winded. Which, if we go over to H, Winded is going to mean we get less damage. Assist till the end of combat. But I do think it's a good way to go. It does good damage and does a good bleed. And the Winded damage doesn't matter if we keep bleeding him, to be honest. 
I think we just need to take this guy out before he gets a chance to howl, which I'm thinking he's just going to do on this turn, to be honest. Okay, no, he did Skull Foss. Please don't stun. Ah, he stuns every time. Every time without fail. This guy, I don't know what to think. I think he's just a brutish damage dealer. I think we can deal with him. Ah, the dodge. The dodge token finally paid off for that guy. So a good bit of damage there. We need to get some combo going on with Jane, actually, because we're getting combos on enemies quite a lot. And then we can just bleed out again. Just gonna, it's going to uh, give us more winded, but it does give him a lot of bleed. And please don't get a howl off. Okay, Rend is bad, but not terrible. It is going to bleed us for a rather hefty amount. You're going to protect him while he's on Death Star. I mean, to be fair, that's fine because he is going to die via bleed out. Let's heal you up. At least has been tended to. Okay, that gets rid of your block at least. And we just kind of do the same to this guy now. We're just hoping this guy bleeds out on his next turn, to be honest. We can't really do much else to help it. Okay, good, 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 good. And there's no body to leave there as well. So this guy just does heavy damage now. We just got to deal with that. He's going to be putting out bleeds there, but we can resist. We can resist. There's some more of that. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely feeling a bit better about how I set up now. I think obviously the Dismas Repurse buff has, has very much helped us out, but that's not been the only, uh, the only factor. I don't think. Go with answer prevention again here. Deals with stress nicely. It just feels so necessary. Oh, that was a great dodge. That was a very nice dodge right there. And we are going to cut this guy down. Scavenge what you can. See, we, we got like nothing for that fight. So it's like, this is why the, 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 the extra rounds doesn't really matter. It does mean that our fights are taking a little longer, but I feel like that's fine. I think pretty much everyone that's watching is in agreement that they don't really mind episodes being long. No swords were drawn. There was only stupefying horror and the catatonic lethargy that follows it. I think we can take on this fight. We are only on forty light though. Oh, we can we can do this one with a with a buff to ourselves here, which is rather nice. We'll start with damage and speed. We do have frenzied enemies, they have extra damage. Hmm. Yeah, I think we just light up this guy with blight. Lethality Huge with crit large. there. I'm gonna cut this guy down just to get rid of his block. Or one of them at least. Set up our repost here. This guy is going down fast. Good. Repost there gets rid of his second block. I'm surprised repost can remove tokens and stuff, you know? I thought I thought they'd kind of like prevent you from doing that. Oh, I was really hoping that'd finish this guy, but at least pushes him to the back. I know that we're gonna get reposted here, but I think that getting the blight on this guy is more than worth it. Oh, he resisted that bleed too. We got a winded token for nothing. Very upsetting. Another ounce of prevention here. It's really nice for just getting the, the buffs. The resistances buffed, sorry. Oh, we did take a chunky bit of damage there, but we should be okay. These two enemies together are proving challenging, but as you can see, health of, of them is thinning quite rapidly. I think we just go for a Death Star on that guy. Ooh, he should die next turn. An unavoidable end. Both of them are on Death Star now. Finish you. I realize this guy's probably more important to finish, but. With impunity. Let's heal you up. I know we didn't need to do that. Oh, really? Death Star again? Come on, please just die. Oh, he didn't die. For quite a bit of extra damage there that we didn't really need to take. Didn't Amidst get another mastery. Spoils, an artifact of unparalleled power. Ooh, lots of move resist here. Um, we can 
probably... I don't know who would want to take that. Let's just see. Courtney, do you, you don't have trinkets. Okay, Courtney can take both of those then. We don't want Courtney to be moved at all, really. So that works out. We definitely need an um, uh, assistance encounter pretty soon because we are running out of light rapidly. Oh, and look, it's the hoarder again that we can't afford to use, unfortunately. We seem to keep coming across this man. See, this is the thing because there's an assistance encounter here that we'd rather go to, to be honest. Because our light is getting very low. But I don't think we can really afford to because I think we need to go to the hero shrine. We'll see how our light looks by the end, but I I don't know. We might, we might have to forego it, unfortunately. Yeah, the hoarder's annoying, because we keep getting him. We don't really have the, the money to do much with this guy. We have more Loudenham here, but... Yeah, I, I, I just don't think we can really afford to do much with you, sir. I'm sorry, but once again, we say goodbye. We at least go this way, I think. Stress is building again. Look, this first area passes us by. I'm glad that uh, Dismas and Jane are getting along Academic at least. Study, full of the forbidden and the forgotten. Ooh, this is rough. Um. Because the thing is, we, we just can't afford to lower our light. Yeah, we unfortunately can't afford it, but it is going to pair our relationships. I've never actually had an academic study, study pay off yet. See, we really need to go to the assistance encounter because we desperately need flame. But continuing a hero's story seems more... But we'll definitely hit zero light if we don't. I think we I think we plow through to the assistance encounter and hope for the best. I know that the hero shrines are important, but we desperately need light right now. Because the thing is, we're going to get a road battle here as well. So our light is going to be very, very low by the time we even get there. There's a good chance it reaches zero, to be honest, before we even arrive. Which would be a real shame, but... In fact, I, I think it's almost a guarantee Echoes at this point. Humanity, twisted by hopelessness. God damn it. Death Blow Resist on these enemies as well is so annoying. They're going to be quite easy to kill, but the Death Blow Resist is going to be a pain. Right, lower that stress a little bit for everyone. Emboldened. I should take them out one by one, I think. I think we just focus them down. Oh, we got Death Blow instantly on that guy. That's good. Great job, my friend. Bit of extra stress relief there, that's always nice. The damage that these guys do isn't going to be too bad. I was just about to say, the blight and bl um, and uh, diseases they can give us, though, they're the real killer. But we are resisting at the minute. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Right. Flying those two just to stop them from being a pain in the ass. Another death blow straight away is very, very nice to see. More blight on you. Thank you for hitting the person that has repulsed. <laughs> Not a great idea on your behalf there, but... Bleed this dude. Get rid of that on you. Welcome We're trying to cure relationships more than anything. Academy. Just get rid of this body. Yeah, that should... Oh, no. I was going to say that should kill you, but it didn't. Okay. Another Death Blow straight away. This, this uh, Death Blow Resist did not work out for these guys at all, did it? Not in the slightest. Stop going for Felfer. God damn it. Why is she such an appetizing target? I don't know what it is an hour. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Wicked hack. Take my hand. Another huge heal there for us. The work continues. Impressed indeed. Abandoned or forgotten. It is ours now. 
And as I said, we're gaining very little through these road battles, but it's just more, it's more satisfying to be able to finish them. Right, lights at seven, four. Please say we make it. Okay, we did. We need to take whatever gives us the most light here. 15, 30. Okay, we, we go with this one. Courtney. The way You're right, we need that 30 flame. Eager to ply his Ooh, trade. hello. Uh, I've not seen this before. Also, I don't, don't know why that one's like pulsating. Disease resist, okay. And uh, track his map as well. Nice. Push forward. Yeah, we, we desperately needed that. It's, a, it's unfortunate we had to skip out on a hero shrine to get it, but we were going to have to fight the occult, and I really don't want to do that because I'm not very good at fighting them. I have been given a lot of tips on how to fight them, but even still. Right, we got to the stagecoach here. Wait, what's this? Oh, it's, a, it's one of these. An impressive haul. Put it to good use. Very nice. Okay, let's just quickly um, check out our uh, our crew's combat items here. So you got the Loudenum. You got some Loudenum as well. You got that. You can take on more of these, I guess. There you go. We are very full, actually. Right. And then we've got the last Guardian to go. And we'll have made it. With a, with a good amount of stuff, our stress has been a little bit tricky, especially Felthers, um, and obviously Courtney's as well, but it's not been awful. We just weren't really prepared for the Loudenum when we needed to be. Let's take it to the Oblivion's Rampart. We might even be able to go two rounds here. We do unfortunately have healthier enemies though, which is problematic. Take out the backline guy first, definitely, if we can. Start out with that. Let's try and reduce the stress of this lady here. Our young Felther. A smite could deal some stress damage. Indeed it did. Yeah, this guy we're just going to wail on with um, with Bleed and Blight as much as we can. The, the cuts are going to hurt. The cuts are going to hurt, but I feel like just... Leave Felther alone. Oh my god. But yeah, I feel like we kind of have to just play play this this way. Take up this guy first in the back. Otherwise, he's just going to become more and more of a problem. I think we take aim just to try and get a crit repost. Don't know if for, for one, I'm just going to get rid of some of your stress. Because that's kind of been a problem for us at the minute. I'm going to blind and gas you. Why not? Yeah, stop trying to smite me. That's what you get. It's annoying. Now, this should hurt. Oh, it didn't even crit. What the hell? What? I thought it was a 100% chance. Oh, you keep resisting bleed. What's your bleed resist, dude? I, I swear your blight resist is higher than your bleed resist. Why do you keep resisting the bleeds? It is. What the hell? This guy's just cooking us. Okay, mob light on this guy. Damn it. Not quite kill. That's okay, though. That's a good crit. I like that. Four of a five. In comes the repost. I like that repost just to get rid of that nice, uh, that, that block there. The cut comes in once more, but that's, uh, that's going to be low damage to Jane here. I'm really glad we gave Fel for like 30% more HP at the minute, because she's desperately in need of it. Ooh, nice dodge there. The speed bag helps. Yeah, I think we finish you off. Hopefully the Blight takes you out. There we go, set up Repost again. As well as hopefully get, get you killed from the Blight. Another crit for another huge amount of light there. It's a death blow on you, good. A cut's coming in, but I've got a bit of a plan here before we finish this battle. I think we should be okay to maybe push on a little further than this. Does do a good amount of damage, good. Right, we do ounce of prevention to lower that stress a little bit. 
we can rely only upon and this is good this is really building up the relationship between these two and now not only do we get inseparable here which is nice for that stress relief and healing but we can do dead of the night to heal ourselves up to a good amount and then only felt this really hurting and she's gonna get hit again here oh no she didn't wow and we dodged and death dodged you wow everything went well there really you're gonna death door again well, there you go. We cut you down. And we're actually coming out of this smelling like roses, to be honest. I think we advance. I think we're in a, in a position to do so right now. Hail enemy. Uh, ooh, they basically just have a bunch of resists. This is a drum fight again. The drum fights aren't that hard. These enemies can be a little tricky. rid of taunt straight away. We don't actually need to answer prevention here, so I think we're just blinding gas. It just saves us some time with the blinding gas, I think. Get that repose going. Ahaha! A miss straight away. The strength bands our shield. Beautiful. I'm liking this a lot. Having a much better time so far. <laughs> this guy down. I guess we just take out this frontline guy. Seems like the best option right now. He's very weak. The cuts are going to come in fast and loose, but this is the thing. We're getting dodge tokens and stuff from, from all sorts of places, and it's just helping out so much. We're taking so much less, like, critical damage. Oh, he resisted that? Are you kidding? Why can't he use pick to the fair? Oh, he's taunted. I see. Gonna buff these guys up a bit. Ah, oh, honestly, the death's door thing seems absurd. Like, I like the death's door check for enemies now. I think it's actually a pretty cool feature. But goddamn, enemies with like such low, it's five percent, and I still manage to hit it every time. Like, is it is it the case that the first like hit you get on an enemy to knock them down to death's door always puts them on death's door? It's like a hundred percent chance rather than five, and then every hit after that, five percent chance for them to resist. I don't, I don't get how that works because it seems like they always, always resist the death blows, and it's just annoying. Blinding gas again, especially while that taunts out there. Finish you off, good. Another impediment cleared with impunity. Keep stacking that up again. Focus fire. Ah, that's not too bad. It's annoying, but we can deal with that. Oh, ha, ha, beautiful. Didn't quite get rid of his block, though. Felfer, why you gotta be so just... Oh, I don't know. She just feels... Like, I was just about to say she feels useless and she crits for 13, but my god. It would be a pain. Oh, and a death... See what I mean? A death dawned in there. Like, I feel like that's not a 5% chance at all. There you go. That finishes you, at least. Oh, I can't dead in the night at the minute. Um, I think that's just because we're forced to attack this guy. I'll do it on the next turn, possible. This guys are resisting everything at the minute. Nice. Get rid of that block. Dissection. An unavoidable end. Like, they just keep attacking Felpha. What is going on? They just will not leave her alone. There's so many other people to attack. Mainly the guy with Repost. Please attack him. But Felpha just takes the brunt. I mean, she is a warrior. She's a barbarian. She can handle it. But it's like, at some point, she's like, come on. Also, every time it's your turn, he's taunted. Can we just stop with this? And let me actually, like, eat up one of these corpses, please. <laughs> Oh, a crit for 17. That's good. I, I find it funny how it pushes the corpse. 
Oh, this guy's just buffed out of his gourd right now. Oh, he's getting extra, extra death blows. I didn't realize that. In comes the cut once more. Right, what are you getting now? More block, more taunt. God damn it. I need to kill the, the, the shield, the, the thingy dude, but it's just it's so hard to do. We death guard him at least. Always have your back, remember that. Ooh, extra damage, nice. Finish you off. Who are you gonna drum at now, boy? <laughs> I didn't actually know that that's like, oh, wow. Okay, didn't know it worked like that, but good to know, I guess. Do we advance? I feel like we could. Nah, we'll escape at this point. We don't need it. Or forgotten. It is ours now. We don't want to take a risk that we don't have to take. Right, we do have a little bit of a surplus right now of things. I think combat item wise, we 100% want that on you. These can go, these can go, these can go, and we can carry on. Right, towards the inn we go. Feeling very, very much better about this run compared to our last. And I, like, I'm not sure if this has just been a better run in general. I'm understanding the game better or if it's because of the few mods that we're using. But either way, this, this feels like a much more pleasant and enjoyable experience for me so far. I do hope that you guys see it the same way. But anyways, we're at our inn. And this is where we will leave off this episode. And in the next match ever forward towards the mountain. But first, let's just take a little look. Does much for the weary body. Let's take a little look at what we've got going on here. So, you gained Klepto, you gained Armor Smith, Weaponsmith even. Um, you gained Doomslayer, Doomslayer, sorry, believes that this will all end. This all won't end well. And um, that's kind of annoying as well. Master of the Sprawl's advantages, interesting. Okay. Not terrible. And then, in terms of that, our mastery, of mastery. We've got three tokens. Good. Okay, we can definitely work with that. In Either way, we'll leave it there and we'll uh, sort this out in the next episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Let me know what you think of the mods we're using. Please make sure to leave a like and comment as well. It helps the series a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. You were right. To fear the world. It has gone mad.